Okay guys, this is my very first attempt at a rocket stove. Let me tell you how I built it. I think I might be onto something. I don't know that I got a rocket stove yet, but it's something I have. So anyway, I picked up these bricks at Home Depot for 60 cents a piece. These aren't cement bricks, they're clay bricks. And a couple of the bricks I had to cut in half. I need to do some work up here, you can see. I'm gonna cut those off, but I use this uh, masonry chisel to cut some of these bricks in half because I needed two half pieces. Then I came back and I got some mud out of that pond over there. Let me see if you can see it. Which of course is a nice source of clay. And I used the clay from the pond to cover all the crevices and cracks to give it a tighter seal. Now with the, with the uh, chimney completely open I didn't get enough of a rocket stove effect. I think it wasn't allowing enough heat to stay in there, but I think I'm onto something now. Put these bricks on top. I'm gonna go get some clay mud. I'm gonna cut these down short. I'm gonna pack this with clay mud. Maybe pack this whole thing, but I want you to look. See how the flames are coming kind of right in the center there? They're not hitting the back wall here. They're a little close to the front, but I've got a nice draft going. See where my fire is? It's kind of right here. Here's the edge. It's right here at this, right here at this opening. And it's drawing the flames back inside there. See, we've got almost some vertical flames, which is the hallmark of a rocket stove and rocket mass heater. So I think I'm onto something. I think I'm gonna get some more mud and cut these bricks down and uh, see if I can make a little bit more permanent structure. Now when the wind blows, I do get smoke out of there. But when the wind's not blowing, I'm really not getting a, a lot of smoke. Matter of fact, when I first came out, I wasn't getting any smoke. So that indicates to me it's burning cleanly. Right now it's not. So I don't have a rocket stove yet, I don't think. But I think I'm getting somewhere. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys the updated stove. Thanks. Okay, here I am with my first rocket stove. It's burning fairly cleanly right now. You see there's no smoke coming out. Do you see the... the uh, clay mud on the side steaming. It's obviously getting really hot in there, which is kind of cool. And it is really hot there. Really hot there. And you know what? I might go get a pan in a few minutes to see if I can boil water on this. But I think it's burning pretty well. You see the flames being sucked in there? And what's cool is right now, even when the wind blows, it doesn't blow it out, which it was before. Let's see where the flames are. Looks to me like they're shooting right up the center of that heat stack, the chimney, which is exactly where you want them. Check this out, look. The, uh, the fire's burning back. You know, the wood's burning back because I haven't pushed it in, but yet it's sucking the flames inside there, which is what you want. You want a good draft. Okay, here I've put a, about a half a pot of water on. I'd say that's about four to six cups of water. And here we've got a nice little draft still. See, it's still sucking the flames inside. You can see it from the side. So we'll see how long it takes to uh, boil water. I've got my timer going here. Okay, I am two minutes, 30 seconds into this, trying to boil this water. And I have a tip for you. Put little sticks in there. Don't try to put big pieces of wood in or you're not gonna have a rocket um, stove. It'll just keep going out. So I learned that you wanna just constantly feed it with these little twigs. It's uh, maybe not as nice as starting a fire with big hardwood, but uh, if you have just twigs to cook with, it's perfect. So just one little tip for you. Look at this, guys. The wind really picked up. So my little stove's still burning, but I think this is going to really uh, lengthen my boil time on my pot of water here. So I just want to show you that. Okay, well, it's been 28 minutes, and I've been screwing with this thing long enough. It's really windy out. The wind, I'm not seeing the real bad gust, but every time it gusts, it about blows the fire out. And I'm about done playing with it. The pot steams from time to time. Like right now, it's steaming. Can you see it's steaming? But it hasn't boiled in 28 minutes. I think I need to come out here um, on a day when it's not windy and try it. And I might be able to get it to boil in 10 or 12 minutes, but we'll see. But uh, one thing, it absolutely will not burn, or my stove will absolutely not burn sticks even that big. You need to use little teeny tiny twigs. Um, like even this size. Oh, 
I hear a thunderstorm brewing. But I'm about done with this. But uh, I, I think I would say this is a, a success for my first time trying. I'm happy with it. So thanks for watching.